welcome back. It's been a while since I've had a chance to film anything, mainly because I'm working on all sorts of projects for my day-to-day -day job as a family history researcher, which has meant a lot of going backwards and forwards to the Lancashire archives in Preston. The staff know me very, very well, surprisingly enough, and in general, I think the world is starting to get back to normal, which is great. April and May have been very busy, and this weekend, after a three year enforced break, for understandable reasons, I was finally able to spend a couple of days in the southwest of Lancashire helping out on a family history society stand at the Ormskirk Medieval Weekend. If you've seen my videos about wills, you'll know that I have got a family connection to Ormskirk. My direct ancestor Joseph Hurst lived on Orton Street, which is in the town centre of Ormskirk, for much of his adult life. But rather than make a research-based video today, I suddenly realised that there was an opportunity to do something I haven't been able to do before. I could take you on a virtual outing to the town where Joseph and his wife Margaret got married and they raised 10 surviving children out of 11 and finally, of course, ultimately ended up resting peacefully in the parish churchyard. We will, however, be making a little detour. We'll be calling in on the 12th century on the way. many chances to visit West Lancashire for a couple of years, but according to my own family history research, which I have been able to get on with in the meantime, at least using online resources, no fewer than 16 of my own direct ancestors on one side of the family were buried at Ormskirk's parish church, St Peter and Paul, which is the famous one, the one with the tower and the spire at the same end of the building, and the myth about how it came to look like that. And the oldest parts of it are said to date back to around about 1170 AD, which is very appropriate when I was going to a medieval weekend. And maybe it won't surprise you to learn that the graveyard beside the parish church is absolutely enormous. After we packed up on Saturday, I had a bit of free time to spare, so rather than go straight home, I thought I would make the most of it, on the nice weather, I took myself off for a little walk. Maybe you'd like to join me?
this huge great grave here is actually the grave of one of my distant cousins, Edmund Balmer Anderton, his mother and father. This side is the inscription for William Anderton, the doctor, and his wife Emma. Emma was the daughter of Mary Taylor, and Mary Taylor's younger sister was my three times great grandma. That was Saturday. On Sunday, it was time to go back again for day two. And I am always in awe of anybody who can film atmospheric journey sequences on YouTube. Because I was driving myself, that was just not going to ever be an option on Sunday. So instead, I came up with an alternative. This is a bit unusual. Normally it takes me at least an hour to get to Ormskirk. Today it is Sunday morning and it is 17 degrees as you can see. It is just before 10 o'clock and it's taken me less than an hour to get here. There is basically no traffic on the motorway this morning which is amazing. Now I am off to the medieval weekend for day two.
I'm sure you cannot fail to have spotted that there were a huge number of costumed reenactors at this weekend. They're a group called Historia Normalis and they really get into the spirit of the occasion. They set up tents on Coronation Park, you can see them cooking over fires and practicing archery. And this year they even put on a medieval fashion show and as somebody who loves historical fashion I just found it fascinating. <laughs> One thing you always see at these weekends is a pitched battle of some description. You can generally be alerted to the fact that the battle is going on by the sounds of screaming. I managed to see the last moment of Sunday's skirmish. The bit at the end where somebody announces the close of battle by giving the order for the dead to arise is surreal and sort of funny at the same time because they all get up and walk off the field. I'm not sure whether any plans have been made for a 2023 Ormskirt Medieval Weekend yet but if it is something that you would find interesting or you're able to get over to that part of the country I do know from past experience that they tend to happen sometime in the middle of May. This has been something a bit different to the things that I've filmed so far but I hope you enjoyed it as a tour of somewhere a bit different in Lancashire that I often reference but haven't really had an opportunity to film and to put on YouTube. Now that the world is opening up maybe there will be possibilities for other similar videos to be made in the future. Who knows? We'll have to see. Thanks for listening.